what is up dtube so today i want to talk about can hex reach top 10 crypto within 60 days so i thought it would be fun just to run some math to kind of see where that kind of would bring hex that was warm so okay so 60 days now I have my other phone over here, over here, and I want to run some, uh, I want to run some simulations. So, okay, so first of all, I'm just going to go to, uh, I'm just going to go to hex.live to see the current stats, because it's really interesting. Um, yeah, so... It's a new day. So the current stats, if we go down to um, circulating, uh, we have 257 billion coins. Now, at the moment, on uh, uh, on on Hex.Live, it's top 22 crypto. Now, to get into top 10 crypto, I think it has to reach around, uh, at least on CoinGecko, it has to reach ar around $2.7 billion market cap. Now, we are at $996 million market cap at the moment. Now, what would it take if we assume, okay, first we have to add in the new coins that may come out in circulating supply. And the last time I did that, uh, it was kind of pointing to 1.1 billion coins per day, new coins, 60 days, that will be 66, 66 billion coins, plus 257, 323 billion coins per apps in, in circulating supply in 60 days from now. And at, at the current price, that would bring a market cap of uh, uh, 1.25 billion. 1.25 billion dollar market cap so okay so that's a little bit f uh, off from um, from 2.7 billion which i think it takes to get into top 10 but if you would have a price increase maybe of 3x or let's say let's say use 2.5x if you would have a price increase of 2.5x you would be at 3.1 billion dollar market cap now, what is that? 2.5x times the current price, that would be, um, that would be 0 0.009675. It would almost be one cent. So if it would be almost one cent, and if you would have 323 billion circulating hex, that would bring the market cap to three. The market cap would be 3.1 billion dollars okay and that would bring us to uh let's see that would bring us to let's see yeah top eight crypto <laughs> so it is kind of funny like when you when you're running the math uh on a lot of these things it doesn't take that much to be top 10 crypto and it's also pretty interesting because top eight there that is uh if I would count with uh, with Tether, because USDT it is top three coin, but it's not really a coin. It's not even crypto, so you can actually say that it would be top seven coin, mm, uh, top seven real crypto. And if we would remove XRP, which is least a ledger, then it would be top six coin. And if we would remove Bitcoin Cash, which is basically just Bitcoin, it would be top five coin. So I mean, it an ADA is is top six coin also. And what is ADA doing? They don't even have a product. And BSV is seven coin. A link is nine coin. I mean, there is. I don't think it takes that much to be honest to be or well. I already show you that it doesn't really take that much. If you would have, um, if if you would have the same rate of new circulating supply coming out, so it would be sixty six billion more coins, and if you would let's say have two point five x price increase, 
yes, you would be around top eight crypto already. That is pretty cool, to be honest, because because at the moment uh, where it's at uh, a little bit below one billion market cap, I think it's going to be a big difference. When more people see it has like billions uh, in market cap, I think it's going to get on more and more people's radar. At the moment, it's not really on many people's radar uh, because they believe or I mean, they don't know anything about X, to be honest, most people. And uh, the higher the price also the hex goes, especially I think they're around one cent mark. It is kind of like a special place because that is when I think that people are going to start to consider one dollar hex. And when people see people are starting to talk about one dollar hex when they see it reached one cent, I think that is really going to make a lot of more people paying attention and really start to look more and more into it again. Uh, it's also it's an interesting place, uh, 3 billion market cap around there, because XRP was down to 6 billion market cap, and um, at the moment it's around 9 billion market cap, and, and a lot of the community, they're kind of looking at XRP as some kind of godlike coin, even though it kind of came in 2013, and it's only up, I think, around 30 or 50x, since uh since that time and that is not that much to be honest because uh hex at the moment is up how much is it up how many x uh <laughs> it is up 69 x at the moment uh yeah so <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not that impressive for XRP to be at 9 billion market cap and it was at 24 billion market cap I think in 2019. So it seems to be dropped a lot. So you have so much momentum going here. I mean, you can see it like okay, so 2.5x increase and just a few more coins. Oh, it's already top 8 crypto in in 60 days if that would happen. If you would have a 2.5x price increase in 60 days. And we know that we are nearing the uh, the big payday, and uh, and uh, not even many people at the moment are aware of the big payday. But probably the closer we get to it, more people are going to start talking about it, and then uh, that may make it so the project gets more attention, and we may see the closer we get to uh, the big payday on, on November nineteenth it seems like we should see some price movement upward eventually. And it's also interesting, like, as I said, I don't think anything interesting would happen uh, in, in July. I think August is more of an interesting month because July people are usually having a vacation or something like that, or they're just uh, having a chill time, but usually late August, go back to school, go back to work, usually something interesting tends to happen then again. But we don't know, like, no expectations, no promises. We don't know at all. Like, if anything would happen, I mean, price can go to zero. Nobody knows, man. <laughs> Nobody knows. But it is, um, it is the most exciting thing to follow in crypto. So yeah, I mean, 60 days. I mean, just look at how, how quick the time period went from... Uh, the April pump to now we're soon in August. So in uh, in the last month in June we were around five months uh, left, and now it's uh, around four months left. And next month I think it is three months left. So let's see, August, September, October, November. Yeah, next month around this time period it's only going to be three months until the big payday and the more the USD price of X goes up the bigger the payday is going to be so at the moment I think the big payday still is below 1 billion but I think that if it just goes up a little bit it's going to yeah if it would hit I think if we would hit 1 cent that would be like 1.8 billion or something like that and at the moment it's around uh, 300 million or something like that I think it is 
I mean, this is actually a lot of money. Uh, and uh, the more people that eventually may start talking about it, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Um, and it's also very, very interesting if it goes up a couple of billion in in market cap because we saw that when when Hex reached like I think one point two billion market cap, some ETH guys were starting to talk about it like, oh, Hex is like getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What should we do about this? If it is at two or three billion market cap, those Ethereum guys may get quite nervous when they see that oh, maybe their coin is going to be passed by Hex. And it was also very interesting. So I was looking at um, I was looking at uh, a few days ago on Decrypt Crypto News website. They were also covering this aspect of um, they were covering this aspect of that ERC twenty coins on Ethereum has a larger market cap now than than Ethereum itself, and they didn't even cover it, <laughs> the Hex market cap in that. And also some interesting aspect, I did a video on DTube a couple of months ago talking about that, that the DeFi on Ethereum was one, had reached 1 billion on DeFi Pulse. Now it has reached 3 billion and that is without counting Hex. Now if they would count Hex, it would be uh, 4 billion. So it has gone this year from 1 billion to around 4 billion. Okay, they're just counting the, I'm counting the full supply of HEX. They're just counting the locked USD. If we would use count the locked USD in HEX, it would be around 200 million more added. So it would be like 3.2 billion. But, uh, but I think it's almost more fair to count the whole market cap of HEX because it's such a unique project and it, and it actually is the most truest DeFi on Ethereum. Um, so, so, so it's very interesting to see how fast DeFi is sort of rising, even though I don't like most of those other products because usually it's pretty much nonsense. It's clearly a decentralized time deposit is the best DeFi and this is the DeFi that DeFi Pulse isn't even covering on their website. Like they are kind of gatekeeping Hex and pretending it doesn't exist which is extremely unfair to the hexagons and, and to the hex community in general because it is the most amazing thing in crypto in 2020. So another thing that's kind of interesting is all these DeFi coins that you're seeing kind of pumping um, and, and this yield farming aspect. Even though most of this is kind of nonsense, in a way it may be good in a way that it may make more people start to consider this aspect of interest more and that you can make these smart game theory systems where um, you are actually you, you're earning interest in, in some sort of way they are usually doing it with liquidity or some nonsense while I actually think that the way Hex is doing it is better with like time locking and having a share price so but it's kind of cool how a lot of these like DeFi stuff uh, kind of popping up, it will probably make more and more people eventually uh, finding Hex eventually, but when they want the real stuff and when they get tired of uh, the kind of the nonsense DeFi stuff. So yeah, I mean, I think this is going to go pretty fast. Like, so it already went pretty fast. Like it might sound weird when I say like top 10 coin in like 60 days that it may happen. But that would only happen if it went up 2.5x and those extra coins get into circulation. But uh, I think, I mean, it wasn't that long ago when Hex was like top 200 coin. And then it was like top 150, top 120, top 60 coin, top 50 coin, top 30 coin, top 20 coin. And it's been around like top 20 coin now for maybe two or three months. So uh, it... it <laughs> It can go pretty fast, okay? And it, it it nobody bats an eye at the moment when Hex is like top 20 coin. Most people, or most people actually don't even know about it because most of the coin ranking websites kind of gatekeep the Hex project. So Hex being a top 10 coin, maybe not many people even care then, but then probably everyone is going to care when it's like top five coin and they're like, what happened here? I don't know what happened. 
why is this hex coin here top five coin? What happened? I thought these other coins were so much ahead. And then you're going to be like, no, you were kind of ignorant there and you were kind of ignoring this when we tried to kind of tell you about, about it when you actually could get in and get a good share price. So it's going to be interesting to sort of see how this plays out because even 60 days in, since we have four months left, there's still like two months. It's so, okay, so it's late August, September, October, November. So you have there uh, almost a full, or you have full October and then November, almost uh, two thirds of November. So you have those, and then you, on top of those 60 days, you have, you have two remaining months there, which is kind of interesting. So if it's at one cent, if it would be at like one cent or, yeah, if it would be at like one cent, to when it's like two months left it's going to be very interesting to see what happens then because it seems like naturally probably would pump a bit more and then it's like very interesting because how much would it pump like from that point um would it do a 2x or a 3x very very interesting to consider uh if it would do a 3x i mean you are already up to are you up to three cents then or something like that? I think so. And uh, that would be, isn't that like 9 billion market cap or something like that? It would almost like flip XRP. And isn't that like almost uh, a third of Ethereum market cap? And then probably more ETH guys would start to pay attention. And maybe even more Bitcoin, Bitcoin guys would start paying attention. We know that a lot of Bitcoin guys have reclaimed their, their free hacks. And uh, maybe they even uh, get in, get in with some of their bitcoins and on on the market. Who knows? But um, it is an interesting time period. Yeah, these uh, these upcoming four months. So just consider the fact how fast this period has gone. From um, I mean, it was eight months ago. Hex kind of launched, and we're soon getting close to a year. And then we can start to look at 2021 and 2022 and 2023. This is actually when, uh, this is probably when when you're going to see the big uh, shining probably of Hex. Now, nobody knows how it's going to go, but it's like, it is designed for the long-term people. And that's what you see on staking also, that the average stake length now is 4.66 years. That is a pretty, pretty long time, man. So that's almost, yeah, that's almost five years. So that would be like, is that like 2025 or something like that? Of course, some big stakes kind of makes the average change a little bit. I mean, because I've seen that there is, there's a lot of guys that have ending stakes between November 2020 and March 2021. That's going to be an extremely interesting time period for Hex, especially because you have the, the change in, in share price also, which is going to be extremely interesting to see uh, game theory wise, how people are going to react, how people are going to stake, are they going to do even longer stake, uh, are they going to take profit and cash out and never get back in? Like We don't know, but it's, um, it is, it is here in the future where hex even gets more kind of interesting because it's going to be interesting also to see how the old kind of crypto community uh kind of uh, react to it because i i have been doing uh, measurements where i've seen that oh wait a sec at the moment it seems like hex is moving six times faster than bitcoin and it's moving like five times faster than ethereum and it's moving like eight times faster than Chainlink or something like that. And you, you're seeing these things. And this is pretty... This is, so these coins already moved extremely fast, like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And to move 5x faster than that, that is insanely fast. And it's I think it's extremely hard for humans, for the human mind to kind of grasp then uh, to, to understand what they actually are dealing with or what they may be dealing with. Again, this is a complete project. Nobody knows what's happened. Stuff can go to zero and all of this, but it's still very, very interesting, right? Um, yeah. So, and and also that 
this project don't really have any any competition so all these other DeFi products they have competition like because they usually have similar products like other DeFi products that kind of compete against it they're doing the same kind of lending and stuff but there is no other decentralized time deposit with a, a share price like like hex has that is working in an exponential way and longer pays better and so on nobody has built a product like this so there is no hex doesn't really have any competition at least not the upcoming years maybe someone do something way longer down the line in the future but that's gonna be that's that's not anything that someone seems to be working on right now so it's you know it's very interesting so yeah that is what i want to talk a little bit about today um yeah it may it may be a top 10 coin within or even top eight coin within 60 days but that would only be if you would see a 2.5x price rise and a um and a uh and 66 billion more coins in circulation who knows we have to see what happens have an awesome day dtube